Jenny Dach. Hello and welcome to the Nogama Village Mi'kmaq Language Program. In the previous videos, we led you through basic sounds and concepts, building your vocabulary and comprehension. In this series, we will expand on those lessons. So let's start with a quick review. In the first video in level two, we started with ownership and possessive nouns. This included family members such as Nuch, my father. It also included objects such as my house, Nig. In this series, we expanded on those concepts for both singular and plural objects. These will be applied to single, dual, and plural subjects for first, second, and third person. Finally, these lessons will also explain how the words are built. Sight words was the next topic in level two, which may be commonly used in basic conversation. These included small words such as this, ud, there, det, and simple questions such as dummy edik, where is it? Many of these words find their way into the upcoming lessons, but in this series, we focus more on building words than new vocabulary. Vocabulary played a large role in the last series, and this continued into the third video, which dealt with greetings and farewells. You are now familiar with gwe, upchilidach, and numadoksup. These lessons also included some simple statements you can use. As with the previous video, we use some of these throughout the current series. The fourth video of level two also explored basic conversation, but this time focused on questions and answers. At this point in the series, you should be attempting to replace words in our examples with other words. So, instead of saying, go hoe wala, perhaps you might ask, go hoe det. Or perhaps instead, ask someone, when meske, or ask, when det ala. In our fifth video, we began another mini series this time centered on growing your word bank. By building your vocabulary, you can take the lessons learned in basic conversation and create a lot more variation without increasing the difficulty level. This first of three word bank videos looked at weather and time, helping you describe the environment around you. This is vital to understanding the Mi'kmaq way of looking at the world. We continued our theme of growing your word bank in video six, which looked at people and names. These names included titles such as Segamau and Mobalewit, and terms of endearment such as Odi and Jij. It also included the names of our family members such as Nkich, Nuch, Gwis, Ntus, and so on. These become important examples in understanding ownership, a theme we return to in this series. Along with our family and the environment we live in, another important aspect of the Mi'kmaq life are animals. The seventh video brought back some early examples like Gipug, Omuj, and Miauj, but also provided examples of Mimijik, Jipjijik and Jujijik. A number of these animals return in this series when we take a closer look at pluralization, particularly in terms of color. As Mi'kmaq is a verb-based language, it is very important to learn how to conjugate. With that in mind, the final three videos in level two began to scratch the surface of Mi'kmaq verbs. Video eight began with introducing I verbs, that is, verbs that end in I in the first person singular form. Building on a word root, eps, which means hot, the video showed you how to then apply it 
to the singular and plural subjects in the first, second, and third person point of view. With the same word root, EPS, video 9 delved into the past and future tenses. With a set of standard charts, the rules of conjugation could then be applied to other verbs. However, there are many exceptions, so be sure to check the supplement for those that follow these rules. This series continues to examine I-verbs to better your understanding of how the beginning and the endings of the words can be altered to indicate who you are speaking about. In the final video of the series, a brief glance at more I-verbs was followed by a discussion of other resources that you can use to further your understanding of Mi'kmaq. In this series, we expand on that offering suggestions on websites, apps for smartphones and tablets, and other collections of videos freely available online. If you would like more practice, review the videos from levels 1.1 and 2, and read through the supplementary material. But, if you are ready, let's move on to video 2, how to break down larger words into syllables. Yes, yeah, we only we salt an edge. Well, I'll yoke, ah, no more